Today we are going to discuss Newton forward interpolation problem. So he has given lead percentage versus the melting temperature. So if the lead percentage is 50 percent, melting temperature is 205. Similarly for 60 it is 225, for 70 it is 248, for 80 it is 274. Then for 54 lead percentage, what is the melting temperature he is asking? For this one, we are using the Newton forward interpolation. Why we are using the Newton forward interpolation means this 54 lies between 50 and 60. So that is the in the start of values. Therefore, we will use the Newton forward interpolation. If it is 75, we will use the Newton backward interpolation. Okay. So, you write the lead percentage column wise, similarly melting temperatures column wise. So, next what you have to do is you have to get the differences of these two numbers 225 minus 205 that is 20. Similarly 248 minus 225 that is 23. 274 minus 248 that is 26. So, similarly Second difference I am writing 23 minus 20 that is 3. 26 minus 23 is plus, plus 3. Suppose here it is 20 and here it is 23. Let us consider 20 minus 23 means you have to write minus 3. So here it is 23 minus 20 I am writing plus 3. 26 minus 23 is plus 3. And the third difference you are going to get it as 0. So, find why f of 54 we have to find out. So, the Newton forward interpolation formula what it says is f of 54 is nothing but y naught plus p delta y naught p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial into delta square y naught plus p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 by 3 factorial into delta q y naught plus 1. So, how we have to remember the Newton forward interpolation means y naught delta y naught, delta square y naught, delta q y naught, delta power 4 y naught. This is the y notation. Similarly, p notation is starting p next to p into p minus 1 by 2 factorial. Next one is p into p minus 1 into p minus 2. This is the notation. So, where p value is x minus x naught by h. x naught by h. Okay. We have x x is nothing but for 54 you have to find out therefore x is 52 x naught means the starting value x naught is 50 similarly this is y naught the corresponding value of x naught is y naught this is you can say that delta y naught this is delta square y naught this is delta q y naught okay x naught y naught delta y naught delta square y naught delta q y naught so, in the formula is also in the same notation y naught delta y naught delta square y naught delta q y naught. Okay. So, I am writing the values here. So, therefore, p value is x value is 50, x naught is 50 by h is h is nothing but the difference. 50 to 60 it is 10, 60 to 70 is also 10, 70 to 80 is also 10. Therefore, that is nothing but 0 0.4. So, now you substitute all the values, you know, y naught, delta y naught, so and so. Similarly, p value you also know. Just to substitute in the this equation, you are going to get f of 54 is 212.64. Okay, f of 54 is 212.64. Thank you.